Hello everyone. You will read our article in the April issue of the Science Teacher. The title of our article is What Comes First, Language or Content? Learning Science Content through PSYOP and Learning Cycle Model. My name is Dr. Vanashri Nargun Zoshi and my colleague Dr. Nazan Batusta is co-author on this article. We know all learners have difficulty with the language and the vocabulary of science, which are either abstract, for example, photosynthesis or ecosystem, or have different meanings in science than their daily life uses, for example, class, work, or power. Hence, understanding of individual vocabulary words is not enough for learners to be successful in making meaning in the science. Traditionally, educators believe that English language learners first needed to learn and master the English language before start taking content specific courses. However, considering that it takes five or more years for English language learners to become proficient in academic, this approach is not convenient nor effective. So in this article, we present an approach to support English language learners language growth in a constructivist oriented science classroom through the use of sheltered instruction observation protocol as the language instruction and the five e learning cycle as the inquiry based science instruction framework. So the five uh, e model has five phases. Engage explore, explain, elaborate, and evaluate. Um, and the PSYOP has eight components, preparation, building background, comprehensible input, strategies, interaction, practice or application, lesson delivery, and review or assessment. So in this article, we present a unit on land pollution to explain how these two fundamental approaches can be effectively used to facilitate English language learners learning. The unit was taught in three sessions around 5E and PSYOP components. The three sessions of land pollution were as follows. The first, what causes land pollution? types of land pollution, preventing land pollution, and lastly, reflecting on our learning. So throughout these three sessions, we implemented explicit strategies to build English language learners' understanding of vocabulary and science content. We hope that you will enjoy reading our article. Thank you very much.